Hi guys, I'm going to show you how to do fine gold recovery the way I do it. I don't know how everybody else does it in town, but I do it this way. I just wanted to tell you that the 49ers, the Gold Rush people, they didn't get all the gold here in Colorado and Clear Creek, uh, Cache Creek, Arkansas River. They just didn't get all the gold. And what I want to do is, is just show you uh, through the next several videos what I do, where I go, how I find the gold, how I sample, what I look for in the rivers, and I'm going to show you real examples of where, what to look for, where to go, and how I sample these areas to find the gold streak. But right now, I want to show you my gold recovery system. And, and uh, before I get started with all this equipment, I, I just want to show you two examples here real quick. I classify all my material down as much as I can classify it. And the reason I do that is because you've got large material and small material. The large rock will displace really small, fine pieces of gold in my sluice box and my wheel. And the reason it does it is because all the water will rush around the bigger piece and just blow this little fine piece of gold right out of the box. And we can't have that. So if you classify your material and you get everything as equal in size as you possibly can, gold is 19 times heavier than many things. It's just, it's just really heavy. It'll, it'll stay and it won't displace. So the first thing I do is I classify my material in classifiers. When I'm out in the field, I classify my material through quarter inch mesh to get the bigger gravel out. And then I run that through my sluice box and if I'm using my high banker, my high banker classifies the material for me and washes it out of the box. But when I get home, when I'm getting ready to run my material again, I'll classify it through these screens. This is a number 8, this is a number I think 20, and this is a number 50. So each one of these classifications all the way down, I will run through my classification system here for my fine gold recovery. Before I run anything through my recovery system, I dry it out in a box. I dry everything out completely and then once it's dry I run my magnet through it and I get all the black sands out of it. I try to take all the heavies out of my concentrates so that the heavies don't displace any more gold or, or stick with any, any of the gold. That's probably the biggest tip. Dry out your sand, get, get the black sands out, remove them before you start running them. So when I'm running my material through my mini sluice, I'll, I'll start seeing the gold settle at the top of my tray once it's been classified and it's also got all the black sands out of it you'll be able to see some gold here here in a minute but it'll run through this mini sluice and I like to run my material twice And I also run material through my miner's wheel. The gold will work its way up and go through the spout to the back, to this little cup that's in the back. And all the gold will catch in this little cup. Once I've got the gold out of my miner's wheel, and out of my mini sluice, I put it in a pan and I pick out all the little black rocks and I clean my gold up as, as clean as I could get it and then I'll dry it out and I'll clean it one more time. That's kind of the process, a real brief, quick uh, explanation of how I'm doing everything. In the next couple of videos I'm going to show you, like I said earlier, how to go to the creek, what to look for where to find it 
and how to process it so you get that really fine gold like I get every time.